Hi everyone, this is Sam from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see update strategy transformation. So uh, the agenda of this video is let's start with a quick demo. So in the demo, I will talk about all the properties. Now this is my source data. So source is a table, products 40, and this is my target table. Okay, so now what I wanted to do is, so if you see here, so the from the source, we are getting product ID, product name, and product quantity. So I have just mentioned a flag variable. So one one flag in the sense that means these records are getting loaded for the first time. Okay. Now these records I wanted to load based on an update update strategy transformation. So that means first I will pass this to the update strategy. So then whenever the flag is one, I just wanted to insert directly into the target table. And whenever the flag is two, that means if the records are passing for the second time, then I need to I just need to update the product quantity. Okay. Now I have already imported my source. This is my source. Okay. And these are my targets. I just want, I am just taking two targets, the same target only. I'm just taking two times because I wanted to insert and I wanted to update. Now let me take a um, update strategy transformation. Now we can see here. So this is an update strategy transformation. And yeah. So now before update strategy transformation, I just wanted to take a rotor transformation because based on the flag value that is coming from the source, if the flag is one, I just need to pass to update strategy one. And if the flag is two, I just need to pass to update strategy two. two. Okay. So that's why I'm just taking two update strategy transformations, U1, U2. And I'm going to take a rotor transformation. So as I already mentioned, rotor transformation helps in rotating the values, rotating the records. Okay. So now let me pass this four and you can see by default it will be an input and let me create two groups so one is for insert and one is for update so now here by default the condition will be true as we already discussed in the previous videos now i just wanted to see if the flag is one i just wanted to insert uh, expression is passed and if the flag is two i just wanted to update okay now this is fine so i have created two groups now from this i just i'm just going to pass to update strategy one so this is an insert and this is an update now default i don't want to pass to anywhere now by default when i click and if you see the input ports are present and properties we can see update strategy expression is one property forward rejected rows and tracing level only these three are the simple simple properties okay so it is very simple transformation and update strategy expression we can see by default it is zero so what is zero here zero in the sense means insert okay so whenever you mention zero here that means it is an insert and whenever i mention one that means it is an update that means so whenever so what basically so whenever you have a source qualifier, whenever you have a source or a target in a mapping, so by default, source uh, to target, so in, into the target database or into the target platform, so it will insert the record. That means insert query will get executed. So in the same way, when you use an update strategy, so when you use zero here, insert query will get executed into the target table. And when I use one, that means update query will get executed. When I use two, delete query will get executed. When I use uh, three that means the reject so the record will be rejected okay so basically we use mainly zero and one so i am just keeping a zero that means it is going to insert okay or else we have a keyword called dd underscore insert now if i just do you can see expression passed successfully and close it and in the second transformation i just wanted to update so you can keep it as one or else you can just write it as dd underscore update and this is also valid okay now apply okay now i just wanted to pass so if the flag is one uh, i it got to update strategy and we are going to insert into the target table okay as we have mentioned dd underscore insert now if that flag is two so it will it will update so it won't insert it will update so that's why i have mentioned dd underscore update here i'm going to pass to target now the mapping is valid now if you carefully observe in the target table i have a primary key here Okay, so when you are using an update strategy transformation with an update query, which is DD underscore update, then definitely primary key should be there. So as we know, update query needs some primary key in order to update the records in the target. So in the same way, primary key should be there, otherwise the session will fail. Now we can see, so two records, it got taken from the source. 
and two records got loaded into the insert query because the flag is one so that's why it got loaded to the first target now we can see the data from the target table so this is the data that got loaded so this is a source data okay and this is the target data now for for example so this is fine and now in the second day or for after after some time now we uh, we are getting a new records like this now if you see so after some time so we are going to get a third record which is cheese which is having flag one that means first time it is getting loaded and the second one you can see flag is two so bread is already present but uh, the quantity got increased so that's why i just need to update into the target table now here also you can see two butter and 50 this is going to so this needs to get updated okay now this is a target table so target table we have only two now into the target table we just need to load the the newly inserted record we need to load and also the updated values need to get updated now we can see from here okay so five records it got taken from the source and two records got updated and one record got inserted okay so the remaining two records if you see it got updated because the flag is two so that's why it got updated now let me see the session log now you can get the session log here now we can see here so if you see here so this is the insert query and this will be the update query so if you see products 10 so set product name product quantity flag where pad so pad is a primary key so that's why it is going to use a where pad in the where class so this is a delete statement accordingly it will get executed okay so this 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 is because unique constant error because we already have the past records one and two in the source so that's why we got this error uh, this reject records got rejected that is fine and we can see from five records so it got loaded one record into the target which is flag equal to one and two records as flag equal to so it got updated we can see the data in the target table so this is a, so from source we can see so 40 50 so 40 50 got updated and uh, the cheese the third one got inserted into the target table now this is this is the simple properties and forward rejected rows so if you want to forward the rejected row so sometimes so when you use a dd underscore update or dd underscore insert only few uh, the condition which satisfies only few of the records will satisfy so the remaining records it will just reject so if you want to forward those re re uh, records also to next transformation you can check this option by default it will be checked okay if you don't want you can just uncheck this uh, this is mainly update strategy will be used in when you are working with a lookup a dynamic lookup the update strategy will be very helpful now the references for you you can see this update strategy guide which talks about all the properties which i have discussed and forwarding rejected address so you can also see our info support channel you can give your feedback at support thank you for watching this video